What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of NMTV. I believe this. I believe this is the sixth episode. So, welcome back. We've missed you guys. Today we're going to be covering a lot of the Swedish nationals, which was this weekend. And just let me start with saying, wow, what an insane stage! If you didn't see the competition, this stage was like, I don't know, it's like Arnold Classic. You came through the middle, and they had screens. Probably the best show in Sweden, I have to say, by far. So, Stockholm Classic, you have to, you know, take it up a notch because you have competition now. SM, which is Swedish Nationals in Swedish, was a really, really, really amazing stage and I'm very impressed. So, we're going to talk about the athletes and mainly uh, those who won. So, we're going to start off with, of course... My brother from another, my sister from another, my co-host, Jessica Pop. Now, she won the overall in wellness. She once again looked amazing. Actually, it's getting quite boring of me just saying she looked amazing because she always looked amazing when she competes, especially this uh, season. And But let me tell you this. It was a very, very, very close call between Jessica Pop and Jessica Lopez. It was not an easy win. She didn't uh, destroy the competition by no means. She had it really tough. And honestly, it could have gone either way. Um, I think Jessica Pop was uh, very complete. She had an amazing shape. Jessica Lopez, Irenius, was hard as nails. She was very round. And I'm actually quite disappointed in Jessica Lopez, Irenius, because I do not understand why she did the Swedish Nationals. I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. She belongs at a, not an NPC show, she belongs at the pro league. She belongs at a pro stage. So Jessica Lopez, what were you thinking? It's not that, because you might think, why did she came second to Jessica Pop? That's not the case. I think Jessica Lopez, she has that NPC pro league wellness look which is a big difference in the mpc pro league the wellness girls are very bottom heavy and very very shredded which jessica lopez obviously is you can when you look at her back post you see the hamstring the t glued ham tie-in and the adductors and the shoulders was popping so jessica lopez for helvete switch to mpc and Never do that again, please, because both Jessica are amazing, but Jessica Lopez belongs in the Pro League, and Jessica Pop, huge congratulation, and I think you belong in the Pro League too as well, because you have a special look and a just special aura. Very beautiful women, so great job. Now, on to the men's bodybuilding. We have Victor Friberg, which we had a phone call with last time, if you remember. And I asked Victor, will you be in shape? Because I want to see you in shape. He's been pulling off, he's been pulling out of so many shows. And I've been dying to see him on stage because when you look at his Instagram updates in the off season, he looks goddamn bigger than Big Rami. So Victor, I am super happy that you competed and you looked insane, man. That front double bicep, the bicep peaks, please give me some, bro. I mean, I have to learn. I have to grow my arms. But a tip, if you want to grow your arm, drink this before, okay? This is Awaken. That's the best pre-workout I've ever had. And combine it with this. If you want to get an insane pump, I warn you, insane, take two scoops of this as well. This show is sponsored by SSN Nutrition. So huge shout out to them. Check out their products. Now, Victor won the overall... Um, he is also doing the Norwegian MPC show, I believe, in a couple of weeks. And it'll be interesting to see how he, he stacks against the classic physique guys. But I really love his upper body. It's so round, the arms, everything. Anton Rosendahl is officially the Swedish champion. Now, Anton Rosendahl, I have been, I've actually been rooting for him a lot, especially last year. Um, I think he was quite overlooked. He should have gotten a better placing last year. I love his goddamn quads. He looks insane. I mean, he, he looks like a horse. Big quads, round sweep. And I, however, I would love to see him fill out his upper body a little bit more. 
He is very bottom dominant. I love to see him bring up that chest, shoulders, and arms even more. His back shot is good, but uh, Anton, congratulations. You are the Swedish champ in classic physique and bodybuilding minus 75 kilos, which you should have been a long time ago. But that doesn't mean that you're done. You need to grow your upper body because you're gonna be deadly. Now, guys, just for info, when I'm making these comments and assessments, like Anto Rutsendal, which won his overall, I'm very, I'm being very, very, very picky. So I am a bodybuilding expert. I've seen a lot and I want my Swedish companions to do well at competitions. So that's why I'm criticizing them as well. Now, on to the next one. Rickard Andersson won the overall in uh, Classic Physique. So Anton won his class in Classic Physique, uh, but Rickard Andersson won the overall in Classic Physique. It could have gone either way, honestly. Um, personally, I'm a big fan of Anton Rosendahl. I love uh, legs, round, round legs, because that's very, you see that very rarely. So, uh, but Rickard, wow, what an amazing shape, man. I mean, he won, he even won the prize for the most classic physique and uh, creds to him. I mean, that pose when he does that, Arnold, insane. I love it. So, it was very well deserved and I would love to see Rickard compete more because um, it's not every day you get that type of talent on the Swedish stage. So congrats Rickard. Now on to the men's physique, which is my favorite category since I'm a men's physique competitor myself. Sorry, I'm talking so fast. I can't even pronounce the words, but bear with me. Okay. It is Friday and we have a lot of fun stuff to talk about. Now, men's physique, Titus Linte, my man, my homeboy, he won the overall in men's physique. Honestly, not a big surprise. Um, he's been dominating for a long time now. Um, congrats, Titus. Uh, I really look forward, and I believe everyone look forward to your next move and uh, how you're gonna, how are you gonna do next year and next season and what improvements you gotta make. I love the structure. I would, I would just love to see him a little bit bigger. That's all. He always comes in condition. He's dry. He's in shape. But a little more size on that. Because then you're going to go to, you know, the Swedish men's physique to a international, real, you know, heavy physique. And speaking of men's physique, we have our teammate and uh, boy, Joey, which uh, came second in men's physique. I really love his structure. I spoke about him a couple of episodes ago. Um... I told him that I would love to see him in better shape and he clearly improved for this competition, the Swedish Nationals. He was in shape, but same case here. Joey, a pretty, pretty physique, amazing physique, but I would love to see him like two or three kgs bigger. Then he'll be completely deadly. I mean, his waist is amazing. And uh, that was everything for the Swedish Nationals. We're going to jump quickly into the Arnold Classic UK, which was this weekend. And uh, wow, interesting. First of all, uh, my assessments, I hope they are right because we didn't have a stream and we got different videos from different angles. So we can't really know how everyone looked, but I'm going to speak of what I saw. Now, Andrew Jack won again. Um, I think he was much much sharper in Texas from the back I think he held a little bit I mean the skin wasn't as thin he wasn't completely shredded from the back I mean he was obviously shredded but I've seen him better especially in Texas so Andrew Jacked won the open class and then we had Patrick came in second James Hollingshead in third and Martin Fritzwater in fourth now I saw a video that uh, Martin Fritzwater was quite pissed off. I think fourth was the right spot personally because we had James Hollingshead. We had Patrick, he looked insane and Andrew Jack. So, I mean, there's, it's, they're not a couple of amateurs that you're competing against. So I think you should be happy with fourth. Of course you want to win, but yeah, I mean, Andrew, James, they're very big indents. James came in fourth, no, uh, third, sorry. I think he was clearly and obviously the biggest and dense guy on stage. I would love to see him just a little bit sharper and based on his uh, Instagram and his updates, I don't really feel that he has been quite motivated as previous year. I mean, he's kind of like 
relax with everything and uh, I mean it's good for the brain and while dieting but it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like he is taking the competition as seriously which is actually and honestly quite a shame because he he is big and he's amazing he got a ton of potential but he just doesn't feel motivated based on Fuad's podcast and what I've heard about him so that was Arnold UK and um, yeah James in third. I really thought he was going to win. I think his best package was the British Grand Prix, which was, I think it was last year, last year or 2020. Can't remember, but he was shredded and he was good then. And he worked with Patrick Tord for that competition. So guys, if you have a good coach who dials you in every show, please don't change it. I mean, it's a working concept. I know he's been working with uh, Jordan Peters for this uh, contest so maybe that's why I don't know anyhow guys that was everything for this episode of NMTV if you liked the video subscribe like share it to a friend and don't forget to buy your gains in the link below okay peace out everyone have a nice weekend I am Aaron and I am team SSN